Novak Djokovic wrote his name in the history books once again as he made a winning return to the court on Tuesday, November 2. Djokovic had not played a singles match since suffering a crushing defeat in the U.S. Open final back in September, and was pushed to three sets in his opening match at the Rolex Paris Masters. After getting through a tough test, the Serb was able to claim a record from his longtime rival Roger Federer. Djokovic made his highly anticipated return to action on Tuesday, with a three-set victory over Martin Fuksavic in the Paris Masters 1000 second round. The world number one had not played a match in almost two months, since losing the U.S. Open final to Daniel Medvedev. Djokovic was looking to become the first man in 52 years to complete the calendar Grand Slam, and the first male singles player in history to win a record 21st major title, but fell at the final hurdle as the world number two defeated him in straight sets to claim the title. He returned to competition at the Rolex Paris Masters, having skipped the 1,000th point event in Indian Wells last month, and faced world number 40 Fuksavix in his first match since losing the final in Flushing Meadows. The Hungarian pushed the top seed to three sets but was unable to get the better of Djokovic, who needed almost two hours to book his spot in the round of 16 with a 6-2, 4-6, 6-3 victory. The win also helped the Serb secure a new record previously held by Federer. Earlier this year, Djokovic surpassed the Swiss tennis star for a number of weeks spent at world number no. one a record he had been eyeing for several months. He has now overtaken the 40-year-old once again, this time becoming the winningest world number no. one in history. Djokovic's victory over Fuksavix marked his 418th win while occupying the top spot in the rankings, beating Federer's previous record of 417. The 34-year-old isn't ready to stop there either, as he recently admitted he was eyeing the year-end number one spot for a record seventh time. He is currently tied with one of his idols, Pete Sampras, on six-year-end number one finishes, and is looking to break the record at the end of this year by fending off his U.S. Open conqueror Medvedev. The year-end number one is on the line between Medvedev and myself, and I'm in a pretty good position in terms of the ranking points and the race, so that's obviously the goal for the end of the season other than trying to do well in the Davis Cup with the national team, Djokovic said. So hopefully I can have a strong finish of the season and clinch that year-end number one. As well as competing in this week's Paris Masters, Djokovic has also qualified for the ATP Finals, being held in Turin this year for the first time, and can earn up to 1,500 ranking points at the season-ending championships. He is also set to represent Team Serbia in the Davis Cup Finals, but could clinch the world number one spot for the end of the year this week in France. There are multiple scenarios that could see Djokovic become year-end number one for a record seventh time this week, all depending on what Medvedev does at the tournament, but the Serb will be able to take matters into his own hands. If he can win the tournament this week, he will become year-end number one no matter what the Russian does.